in this short video i'll teach you how can we extract the reports and what is the report in iam and what sort of reports are available in iam and why reports are needed so typically in corporate okay we end up doing going with something called a zero trust policy and least privilege principle which also means okay what a user job role is and what are the level of access or the authorizations or the policies that we have given okay we want to see whether the required level of access that we have given or something that we have given beyond what is needed in corporate it's not like one user or two years you will have hundreds of users who has access to your aws cloud account so definitely it's imperative to know what level of access is given to what level of user and do we given have we given the required level of access or something we have given beyond what is needed that is something we need to add, uh, get which can be gained from a report called as access advice uh, that can be given from something called as access advisor so access advisor is something at account level uh, not account level at the user level and the second thing is credential report so the credential report falls under the category of account which means how many set of users we have and what is the when, when they have changed the password and what is the recent activity so uh, this kind of information you can get it from the credential report okay maybe we can go ahead and see that uh, let me go to aws console <clears throat> sign in i'm already signed in Okay, so I would like to go to IAM. And here in the left pane, if you scroll down, you have something called as credential report. If you click the credential report, you'll get an option to download the credential report. It is a CSV file. As soon as you click it, the file will be opening here. So it says that I have root account, B50 admin account, and Michael AWS. So don't get surprised why an account has only three accounts. This is my lab account. Typically in corporate account, you would have a huge number of accounts. And this is the account creation when this account was created, whether the password is enabled or not, when the password has been changed, okay, when the password has been changed, whether it has multi-factor authentication enabled or not. I don't have any sort of act, a multi-factor authentication enabled, whether it has any access key and secret key downloaded or not, when the access key and secret key are downloaded. So likewise, for the access related information for this particular user, you can see a lot more. Okay, so this is what you can see. All the access related information can be seen here. Okay, that's it. That's about it and that's about the uh, credential report and the other thing that i'm interested to talk about is access analyzer okay let's go to any of the user any of the user for example if uh, the access advisor scope is at the account level for example if you want to see what b50 admin b50 admin is a user account in my account if you go to the access advisor and this report tells you the user b50 admin has access to this that and all so uh, uh, this guy is an aws uh, admin and he has administrator level of access and he used it 70 days back from last 70 days he has not used any sort of access maybe uh, just since this guy is accessing only s3 maybe i can talk to the guy or talk to the security team and ask this guy why he has why he needed administrator level of access if he's just accessing aws s3 why can't we give him s3 admin access in incorporate it always go with a zero trust policy and least privilege principle so we should only give access to b50 admin since he is only using only uh, s3 there is no point in giving the administrator level access maybe i can remove him from the administrator group and him can give him s3 admin okay maybe i can also show one more user i have another user and another user is aws michael <coughs> not roles users so michael aws this guy is also one of the user i am user who logs in with his account i am user so the access advisor tells you his utilization okay keeping okay so this will okay here it says that this guy also has aws administrator access but this guy has used aws s3 aws ec2 and aws im management today so and resource manager aws health apis and these six are the services he has access for the sake of the lab i have created this uh, just an hour back that's the reason you can see everything is accessed today so maybe if he has been accessing only these six services maybe you can give him access only to this and can limit him so this is how we can analyze what a particular user is being used and what level of services he has used what are the services that he never used for example if he is an iam user iam admin there is no point in giving him ec2 admin access right so this is where you can come and check who is using who is having what level of access and who is doing what okay this is hope this video is interesting and i'll come back with you with another short video thank you